Let's find the answers in this video. 1. How water rises in the tallest tree as Eucalyptus regnans or Sequoia semipervirens 114 MTS. Hey? 2. Is there a water potential gradient from the soil through plants to the atmosphere sufficient to pull water? 3. How does water ascend in leafless trees in snow-covered regions in winter? 4. How does water ascend when the stomata is abruptly closed in stormy weather during the day? 5. How do plants manage between new xylem and older xylem in woody plants? Let us begin with the relative humidity of air, when the atmosphere is completely saturated at 100% RH the atmosphere cannot hold water vapor anymore and there is a complete lack of transpiration from the plants. Under these conditions the ascent of sap in plants was unanswered, particularly in the tallest trees. However, some physical and geographical studies have confirmed that a drop of 1 or 2% in RH creates a negative water potential of 2.72 MPa in the atmosphere which is sufficient to pull water up to a height of 277 MTS. At RH 100% transpiration pull is 0 while at 98% transpiration pull is minus 2.72 MPa. It is minus 93.2 MPa at 50% relative humidity. Also, it must be noted that the negative water potential of soil is 0.5 MPa. It can be concluded from the observation of the data that atmospheric water need not be so dry to pull the water from the plants through the soil by the roots. Even a drop of 1% in relative humidity is sufficient to raise sap from the soil to the leaf, a condition that always prevails in the atmosphere. Water, when evaporation takes place, water from the soil also evaporates and dryness of soil occurs which has a limitation. The soil water becomes thinner and water potential becomes more negative which equals that of the root so no further absorption takes place, the value is approximately minus 3 MPa, under such an equilibrium water is lost from the stem and leads to the wilting of leaves. This is often called permanent wilting percentage, which is dependent on the type of soil. See the video Hidden Dance of Water. This answers questions 1 and 2 based on transpiration pull theory alone even if other conditions work against it. Xylem SAP The sap of the xylem is very dilute while the water potential in parenchyma cells is 0.3 to 3 to S-3.5 MPa which is sufficient to pull the water from the xylem, this high pressure in the leaves is due to combined effect of turgor pressure and osmotic pressure. Water column, another factor that maintains the water column in the xylem is dependent on the structure of the xylem, tracheid and vessel, which has pores connected both apically and laterally zigzag attachments, also are smaller in size in tall trees when compared to small plants. Watch the video Sprang to Sleep. Lateral pores in the tracheids and vessels of the xylem are responsible for maintaining water columns despite the annual leaf shedding and wood formation that is the continuity of new and old xylem after the onset of spring season in the trees hence can explain the long survival of woody plants and rapid rate of water requirement with the onset of new leaves. The tracheid and vessels have small pores in their cell wall of polysaccharides. These pores have a very strong cohesive force of attraction, which can pull the water to a height of over 3,000 meters, having a water tension of over 300 to minus 400 MPa. Adhesion of water and development of air seeding, a situation of acute water dehydration in plants causing water vacuum boiling and maintaining the water column. In adverse conditions the leaf is shed off from the plant as abscisic acid is formed in the petiole region, formation of gum and raisins in the xylem, formation of heartwood, to prevent infection, in frozen weather or droughts, it is another preventive measure taken by the plant in the drought condition. 
Some water has to be stored in the stem to maintain the elasticity, turgidity, mechanical strength of the stem and continuity of transpiration after adverse conditions are over. Some air pockets in the stem 10 to 15% help the stem cell in respiration. Mm -hmm.